Firstly, I want to thank and show my appreciation to my followers and people who reached out and commented on the video. So many of you were very level-headed and unlike everything else on the internet, and you shared your feelings and the pros and cons of owning the gear in relation to some of the behavior. And that's just really valuable discourse. And I just want to praise you for that. That's just so awesome to see in 2020. So we have a telegram from Behringer. They've responded on their blog, Twitter, Facebook, pretty much everywhere. Hi, this is Paul from Music Tribe. Hey, Paul. We have been recently made aware that people have been questioning Uli Behringer's promise to donate 1,000 synthesizers to children in need around the world. Well, yeah, that will happen when you make a charitable pledge like that and never follow up or talk about it again. So, Paul, if you're in charge of this project, that is just amazing. And I'm jealous that you get to work with all these charities. That's really cool. But one thing that I am going to point out is why didn't you just respond to me? My email address is available on my YouTube channel. I'm not a hard person to contact. I'm not going to read the entire blog post. You could view it in the description below, but I'm going to get to this part. We're currently working with over 100 organizations around the world, many of which I have listed below. Given the nature of the charities and their commitment not to engage in any commercial activities, this isn't so much a thing. You can even go to some of the charities that you listed and see other synth companies listed as the people who have helped them. For example, in these organizations you've pointed out, you'll see Korg and Yamaha's name quite a bit. Yamaha donates a massive amount of resources, money, and time to music education. Okay, continuing, whilst also protecting the identities of the children they support. Nobody's asking for the identities of children. I am personally saddened that this has now been turned into a public event. Now? I didn't hack into Uli Behringer's computer and find plans to give synthesizers to children. It's a public video that your company uploaded where he is saying it. In order to verify any of my statements, please feel free to directly contact any of these organizations about our partnership. All right, I'm going to verify this with a few of the organizations that I am personally familiar with. I want to urge my viewers, whether you are a fan of mine or whether you hate me, not to contact all these companies, because the last thing that a charity that's helping children needs is an influx of a bunch of phone calls from YouTubers trying to verify if Behringer gave them sense or not. Music Tribe or Behringer, have they, have they given you any resources? Um, those names don't sound familiar to me. If you're actually getting synthesizers, and if not, then I would, you know, like to say, hey, give them some synthesizers, because... <laughs> For sure. Yeah. Um, no, we appreciate it, yeah. Um, no, I don't believe uh, that we have received anything from them. We work with enough um, urban school districts and stuff like that. I would think we would have... Yeah. Um, I would have heard of them in some way, but yeah, I haven't heard anything about it until your call, so... Okay. Uh, it has been a matter of hours since Behringer has posted a response to my video, and myself and a peer of mine who's helping out has gotten in touch with three of the organizations that you listed as beneficiaries to Uli Behringer's generous claim. I cannot say for a fact whether or not they have received some form of help from Behringer or Music Tribe, but out of those three, not one of them has any idea what we're talking about. I'm familiar with some of these organizations that you've listed, and I would hedge my bets that most of them are amazing groups that put child education and safety above all. And I'm not going to waste any more of their time with this nonsense. Now again, I'm actually going to give Behringer the benefit of the doubt, because this is bigger than me being right in my video, or this is bigger than me getting woke points. This is about giving 1,000 to 1,500 synthesizers to underprivileged children. Now, whether you intended to contact these organizations and haven't gotten around to it yet, or whether there's some severe miscommunication going on, or maybe there's a third party or some sort of anonymous donation, even though none of them have any Behringer gear in their studio, whatever it is, fear not. I've given them your contact information and sent them your blog post, and they'll be reaching out, hopefully, to connect with you and make this happen. Talking to these charities and wasting a little bit of their administrative time for this situation made me feel like a dick. I've gotten hundreds, literally hundreds, of replies, comments, messages of people saying they own Behringer gear and they feel like a dick about it because of Behringer's behavior. So Uli, Paul, whoever it is, maybe we can all feel better about this whole thing. 
my offer still stands. If you can match the amount that I've raised for charity this year, $21,000, I will take my original video down, and for one year, you will have product placement behind me. You could, I'll have a wall of your 2600 clone right there. Won't say a thing about how it got there. It'll just be there. So there's not much left to say. Paul, Uli, if you want to work together to help charities or humanitarian organizations, let me know. That's what I would really like this to turn into. Otherwise, I, I really don't want to continue fighting with Behringer. I would rather do things that I want to do, and I'm sure you would rather not have a PR crisis over this. And again, thank you to my subscribers, my followers, and anybody who's provided meaningful discourse on this. I'll see you very soon. Bye.